people who you started your life off with and what success does to them. People look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same, like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success. So you are changing. You don't change who you are, the core of who you are, the things you believe, the things you love, and the things you die for, and your principles. You don't change that, but you're going to change who you are. You're going to change. You know, you can't do the same things that you, you can't hang on the corner. Some people may not be comfortable with that. And then it deals with the other side of success, how people look at you when you're successful media medals, people sue you, settle, every step you take, they remind you, you get it. so no matter how far you are, you still have that stigma on you of where you come from when you walk inside the door. Even if you have a tuxedo on, it's like, oh yeah, that's the guy who used to be this and did that. Most kings get their head cut off. I mean, in war, battle, and in life, at the end of the day, you've achieved everything you want. You've made it to the top of the throne and at the end of the day, you just get your head cut off. That meant the most to me and always, you know, coming up, I always believed in it, the way you live your life, you affect the outcome of your life, you know, calm and everything. So I just will want to be remembered as a very honest and straight up guy. You know, I'm pretty much a mirror. You know, if, if someone's cool with me, I'm like energies attract, right? You give off energy, you get that energy back. So. Just a person that was of the utmost integrity, you know, honest, very hardworking, and someone who really cared about the culture. Because at the end of the day, I mean, that's, that's what I'm pushing everyone for. Because this thing right here, this music thing is a thing that I don't think everyone figured into the equation, right? Because, you know, you have projects and you have you know, certain people section off in certain areas and you have better schools here and worse schools here and you know this whole thing was like a chessboard again. This whole thing was set out a certain way. And then rap music came and it turned everything around. It it just threw every equation that was factored in already. It just threw that thing for a loop. So I have a responsibility to the culture as well. Things don't happen to you, they happen for you. That's life, everything is life, it happens for you. Everything is for your greatest good. No matter what it looks like, I mean, you know, they say you wanna make God laugh, tell them your plans, right? You can't control the future. I mean, you can control it up to some point. You can't control what others do, you can't control anything. Someone can run a red light and that's the end of everything. You know, you just, you can't, you only can control what you can control. Mm -hmm. So, things don't happen to you, they happen for you. I've been taught everything but emotional intelligence. You know, that's wow. not what you're taught as a young man growing up in projects. You're Absolutely. taught to survive. Absolutely. You know, not getting stuck on a specific thing. It's whatever works for whatever situation at the perfect time. The idea really is to create these things and these foundations that you can pass on to the next generation so we can get those opportunities that we spoke of earlier that we didn't get, you know, earlier. And they can build and take it even further. My hobby is ownership now. My hobby is realizing the rooms that I've been able to get into, the hands that I shake and the personnel that I'm around. I don't take that for granted. Are you just supposed to shake their hands? Or are you supposed to make more of those moments? That's what we don't do enough of. Our culture is caught up in the cool. Our culture is caught up in what we are. You don't realize the reason why the other side has worked so long and why they're so successful is because they figure out how to hold on to the handshake. They hold on to the handshake. We minimize the opportunity to grow and be around and be a part because we're so self, so self-involved. Where real wealth and opportunities are built. I now do, and my priority is that. So the way you talk about me when I made that decision my new decision is to focus on that. Right now I'm chasing, what's the thing that I can build that will last and that other people can come through and other people can say, I, I, I went through this tunnel and this propelled me to doing blah, blah, blah. How many jobs can I create in here? You know, someone sees someone doing something and then say, you know, I wanna do the other version. I wanna do the, the Burger King version of this McDonald's mm -hmm. idea. 
and then it's not based on their love or passion of what they want to do. It's based on getting the look that that makes people think we're equal. Yes. And we got to get out of that space, obviously, you know, as a people and, and really lean on each other and work and, and talk. And I think for some reason that's been the most difficult thing. And I think it's difficult because the assumption of egos from some of the biggest people that would be at that table of they'll probably never do it or he'll probably never. There's an assumption of personnel and what that person may or may not do. But I think the correct table of men and women and just the will and want to do something together, it changes a, a huge narrative and it's scary. Yeah. It's scary as to what we could actually yes. do if we actually sat down. Yeah. You know, no one wants to lose control. It's like, is he getting more than me? Then this person's doing that. You know, but I think we're getting closer. Once we eliminate some of them barriers of like just so many people involved, you know, we can figure out a way to like really just like join together and do things. I was actually going to FaceTime with Ty today, Ty Ty. And I was saying like, I don't think people realize that we just sit around all the time and like, can you believe this shit? Can you fucking believe it? I can't believe this shit. That, like, they, that I've been I able mean, to do. Just the place where we from and where we come from. Like everyone has that story, right? We all from tough locations mm -hmm. and that's just the way the world was set up. But just like the things that we were able to overcome and where we sit now today. I love people, you know? So I don't have that sort of thing. Like I want to vote Republican just to <laughs> save more money. Right. That's not the end game. It's not about who got more money right. and who got more houses. Yes. You know, you've earned it, buy what you want, you know? But don't forget what's important. Without right. people, and it's, being rich would be very boring. Right. <laughs> no one to share with, no one to have, yeah. we have you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you yeah. just be a rich yeah. person, one person on the planet, just yeah. like, yeah. well, then what do you do? Because I have an obligation, going back to the story of OJ, is to further conversation mm -hmm. of an entire race of people. Not me, mm -hmm. all of us. But specifically me, since you're asking the question, is to open up dialogue. It's okay to think. It's okay to be smart. You know, there's a time where people was like, you're talking white. Mm -hmm. It's like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I know words. Intelligence is not a tribute to color. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've heard it grown up many times. You're speaking yeah. white. Like, yeah. white. Speaking like I know words. And, yeah. and it's okay. It's fine. You know, mm -hmm. so I have an obligation to further the conversation in all ways. Mm -hmm. You know, our stature in America, mm -hmm. our emotional maturity, and so on and so forth. It's humbling at the same time. It's like, you know, it's what you've been charged with in life. Right. And I think, believe, since the beginning of time, the poets have been charged with that. Like, mm -hmm. it was the poets that's explaining the emotions and making these songs that people are like, oh, that's what I feel. Right. When you go into survival, what would happen? You shut down. Right. You shut down all emotions. Right. So even with women, you got shut down emotionally. So you can't connect. And then now all things happen from there. Can't connect because of the way you feel about yourself, you mean? Yes. In my case, like, it's deep. Right. And I've done it from the beginning of my career. Two things, you know. One, no one knew the characters. So it wasn't as impactful, mm -hmm. you know. And Two, it wasn't coming from a place that was as evolved. And it's very difficult, you know, it's hard. It's hard to hear songs back. It's hard to perform songs. But I feel it's the most important work that I've done and I'm very proud of it. The effect that it's having on people. Even like the studio sessions, right. you know, we were having four hour conversations after playing one song. I learned so much about people that was around me, just my mm -hmm. friends, I learned things about them that I didn't know. You can't sacrifice others for your life. You know, that's, there's a karmic debt that has to be paid. Had I had the level of consciousness then that I have now, things would have turned out differently. And just knowing that, I definitely want everyone to know that. I walk in representing hip hop. You know, I don't, I don't try to hide that or try to, you know, talk different or, you know, or hide the fact that's where I came from, you know. You hip-hop guy, you're different. No, I'm not different, you know. I mean, I'm different as an individual, but 
a lot of people haven't had conversation with everybody in hip hop. Usually it gets categorized as you guys. All of you guys is this one thing. And that's not true in any field, you know? So when people talk to me and they say things like, you know, you're not like those guys. It's like, that's not true. Just have a conversation with those guys.